In today's episode, we are going to be comparing Zilliqa versus Polkadot in terms of finding which cryptocurrency among us the two is going to be able to replace Ethereum because obviously Ethereum has got some underlining issues that really needs to be addressed. I mean, I'm sure you've heard about the scaling problems that Ethereum constantly goes through every time we have a lot of demand for Ethereum and for it to be used, right? There are obviously exorbitant transaction fees. So sometimes it is very important for us as a community, as a cryptocurrency, uh, you know, sort of community to f find uh, alternatives that are really going to be able to be fit replacements to Ethereum because obviously Ethereum has been having this problem for a very long time. And even though people have been trying to find third party or rather, you know, some other layer type of uh, solutions, it still hasn't really provided any uh, worthy type of solution. So it's just one of the reasons why other blockchain platforms such as Zilliqa and Polka don't just end up coming into the equation because these are equally providing scaling solutions. And moreover, they are also providing sharding capabilities. Moreover, Ethereum is planning to switch on to Ethereum too because they really want to start having uh, some sort of uh, scaling solutions in terms of state sharding. So I'm sure you guys have been wondering and uh, Zilliqa and Polkadot and even Elrond Cardano inclusive usually gets thrown into the equation in terms of which one is most likely going to be able to replace Ethereum. But one thing that I have to let you know is that when it, when we talk about replacing Ethereum, it's not really about the price. It's not really about the market valuation. It is about the ecosystem. You see, Ethereum, ever since its introduction, right, like uh, back in the day, it solved a major issue. It really provided the ability for people, developers to create smart contracts. And therefore, it really generated like a huge following and it has got an ecosystem that really allows developers to sort of create on top of Ethereum because one, one, it's very easy to have access to documentations. Let's say, for example, you want to like put up um, an app or you just want to create a DAP, right? It's very easy to find information about Solidity, some developers' um, uh, information and everything that you need as a, as, a as a developer to create stuff on Ethereum. But when you talk about these other different blockchains, right, they are obviously not, are, they are not obviously as inclusive as Ethereum. So this is one of the reasons why it, it's, it's hard to like steal all the developers and all the ecosystem, all that hard work that Ethereum has put in over the years. But if we take a look at these two cryptocurrencies, right, Zilliqa and Polkadot, obviously, if I were to be honest, right, if I just had to give you like an answer, if we had to draw the comparison as of today, by the way, today is the 9th of September, 2020. So we're not really talking about the future. We're not really you know, comparing what a certain cryptocurrency is going to be able to do like in the next coming three, four or whatever years, we are strictly making this uh, comparison today according to what they have achieved thus far, according to their ecosystem thus far. So if we had to like very, uh, if we had to be honest with ourselves, right, between Zilliqa and Polkadot, obviously Polkadot wins by a milestone, by a large, large margin, because Polkadot has got an overall better ecosystem in terms of Zilliqa. However, when it comes to ultimate scaling, right, Zilliqa is a better blockchain because it scales better than Polkadot, Ethereum, and all these other state sharding type of uh, blockchains. But if we had to talk about growth, right, because obviously this is a business, this is about uh, adoption and uh, creating platforms that are most likely going to be able to like bring about more adoption. If we just had to like base our judgment off of that, right, obviously Polkadot is coming uh, is obviously better than Zilliqa because, for example, if you take a look at Polka Project, by the way, I'm sure you guys already have uh, done your research about what Polkadot is, the ecosystem, who's building and creating stuff on Polkadot, how it came about, the team members, and that stuff. So I'm not really going to go into that because you can do your own due diligence. All I'm trying to say is right now, according to today's date and according to the things that have happened so far, 
Polkadot really stands a better chance of being an Ethereum killer in comparison to Zilliqa. Just take a look at this. These guys have got everything. They have like a different set of uh, projects which are already being explosive. Like for example, if you take a look at decentralized finance, right? These guys have got like more than, I don't know, six, seven projects which are pretty good. And for all the people who have been very, very early, for example, Acropolis has really done tremendously well. People have made like tons and tons of money investing in, in Acropolis. Kizian's network, Mantra Dow. There's a lot of great stuff uh, being built on pro uh, on, on poker project. And this is only the DeFi type of category. If we take a look at different categories, right? They have some other amazing stuff as well. We can take a look at the pilots, the oracles. We can look at the DAOs. We can look at data, privacy, smart contracts, exchanges scaling iot gaming plus a whole lot of different niches and these guys are super super amazing so if you take a look at the explorer explorers as well right they have like so many things that developers can actually get to utilize and just be able to create amazing stuff so zilliqa really needs to do the same as well and this is one of the reasons why we even have like a very large uh discrepancy between the market cap of zilliqa and polka does so if you take a look at the market cap of zilliqa right zilliqa is only about 188 million us dollars in comparison to polka dot which is around 4 billion years dollars is because they have like a larger ecosystem as well as well so what i'm trying to say is obviously it's going to be hard to uh kind of uh you know bring down ethereum because ethereum over the years has built like a very good uh developer friendly type of ecosystem and that's the that's where the value comes in the value is in terms of its environment and it's is of use if i can put it that way so if we can have other projects that can really emulate and just be able to like do a better job in terms of creating an ecosystem which is going to be very conducive for these different developers to sort of create and just build on top of it then it is obviously going to be like a very good thing and this is one of the reasons why a lot of these different projects in included uh zilliqa and polka dot they are trying to first of all do the groundwork because it's all about doing the groundwork right you have to have like a very good developer support you have to have tools and uh, developer kits that are really going to be very easy for people to sort of uh, you know create and do their own thing but if i had to like pick one winner right obviously polka dot stands a better chance however if you really come to think of it from a return on investment type of environment right uh, type of uh on look obviously zilliqa would make you more money in the long run if it did it is going to be able to like keep up with Polkadot's pace, with Cardano's pace, with uh, Ethereum's pace, you know, because it's way much more undervalued. But if you take a look at Polkadot, right, Polkadot is way much more overvalued in comparison to Zilliqa, but that doesn't really neglect or rather uh, prevent it from going further. I mean, if you take a look at the market cap of Ethereum, right, that's about 39 billion US dollars. So, for example, if Polkadot had to go or rather had to grow as high in terms of market valuation as Ethereum is at this particular moment, right, you can easily make like, a, you know, like a perhaps a 10x from now okay so it's all about creating an ecosystem which is going to allow people to create and build on top of your blockchain and right now polka dot is really winning and as much as i like zilliqa as much as i really uh you know like how the blockchain uh architecture of zilliqa works and performs we really need to have more developers we really need to have people creating on top of zilliqa so i would really love to see such type of websites that are going to be highlighting what Zilliqa is doing. I mean, if we go to Zilliqa, right? If we take a look at what they have uh, been building so far, I mean, they've got some nice dApps as well. They have some nice stuff, but uh, I would really love to see more and more and just have uh, a lot of... Uh, different things that are going to be built and that would definitely, definitely be very, very good. So if we take a look at the Zill ecosystem, right? In comparison to Polkadot, <sighs> okay yeah this is what we're getting right now i mean it's still something but it's not really as competitive as polka dot okay 
And uh, if we take a look at Polkadot, right? Polkadot already has some amazing pro projects that are even making people millionaires so far. Well, you might argue that Zilliqa has got, I don't know, uh, what does Zilliqa have? <laughs> yeah, okay. I don't know, unstoppable domains, probably. Well, X, uh, HG Exchange, it hasn't really started functioning right now, but people are really, really happy about this one. You might say Achilles, X Fuzz, okay. All right, okay. Anyway, please let me know which one do you think has got a better chance of being an Ethereum killer. And uh, please let me know in the comment section below. Because I just wanted to like be brief and precise. Because, yeah, it's all about the ecosystem. It's all about, you know, stealing the, um, the value in terms of the ecosystem. If you really want to end up re replacing Ethereum, right? You have to do what Ethereum does. And the thing that Ethereum does is it has all the developers. It has all the killer apps. It has got all the things that really, really propel the blockchain um, niche to a new level. Like, for example, right now, DeFi. 99% of uh, the DeFi projects are being, you know, built on, on, on Ethereum. Uniswap, Ethereum. Balanza, Ethereum, you know? Everything is being built on Ethereum. So we need to have a blockchain which is going to be able to like emulate what Ethereum is doing. And if it has technological capabilities that really allows it to solve the blockchain trilemma, scaling, security, and uh, what's the third blockchain trilemma? I've kind of forgotten. So yeah, yeah, security, scalability, and uh, yeah, I've forgotten the third one. So please remind me in the comment section below. So we definitely need uh, such a blockchain to take over Ethereum. And uh, so far, Polkadot is one of those, man. You have to look out for Polkadot. So if I were you, I'd, I'd probably uh, have my money in both Polkadot and Zilliqa and some other cryptocurrencies as well, such as uh, Cardano and... Uh, you know, these are the cryptocurrencies as well. So it's all about diversifying and just seeing what is most likely going to be able to like perform to a certain level of ex of your expectations. So I'm really going to be putting uh, money in both Zilliqa and Polkadot. But right now, I'm really, really impressed with Polkadot. Moreover, Polkadot has got some killer, uh, you know, team members. Like, for example, Gavin Woods, he was also, you know... Uh, active when it comes to uh the genesis of ethereum because he was you know part of the early early ethereum days where he was adding code and just being able to like uh, provide value to ethereum so if you have like those amazing team members right i mean you are bound to have like a very good successful project because these guys are really really experienced as well so yeah that's all i wanted to talk to you guys about so please remember we need to have about 100 likes I really need to hear your argument with regards to Zilliqa versus Polkadot. Which one is going to be the most likely uh, killer of Ethereum? Let me know in the comment section below. Please give me a detailed reason why, why you think a certain cryptocurrency is going to be the next Ethereum killer. Remember, we need to have about 100 likes. It really helps my YouTube channel grow. So I really need you to smash the like button right now. Please do it for the team. Do it for the Beyond 10X family. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and take care. God bless you. In case you've got any other contributions or topics that you would love me to talk about, drop them in the comment section below. So I'll, t I'll probably talk to you tomorrow. Be good, stay blessed, and yeah, later.